My name is Andy Warner. I work with the Nature Conservancy. I'm the national coordinator for our Sustainable Rivers project. Uh, we're here at Big Cypress Bayou Caddo Lake um, system uh, today for release of paddlefish, which used to be in the Big Cypress Caddo Lake system until about 1950s when there was a construction of an Army Corps of Engineers dam up at Lake of the Pines that altered natural patterns of flow and contributed to the loss of paddlefish in this system. So this is a, an experimental release of some young juvenile paddlefish back into the system uh, that goes along with uh, a decade of work that's gone on between uh, the Nature, Nature Conservancy and many partners to reestablish more of a natural pattern of flow out of the Corps Dam up at Lake of the Pines. These natural flows will help uh, create the habitat and maintain the habitat that are necessary for sustaining paddlefish and sport fish such as bass, um, and in doing so to maintain those populations for quite some time to come. And if this experimental release of paddlefish is successful, the plan is to reintroduce uh, quite a few more in the, in the coming years. Um, Caddo Lake Big Cypress is one of uh, the demonstration sites that the Nature Conservancy and Army Corps of Engineers have on uh, a project that we call the Sustainable Rivers Project. It's an initiative between the Nature Conservancy and the Corps to uh, modernize the operations of dams in ways that bring benefits such as uh, improved water quality, um, enhancing fish and wildlife habitat and uh, in improving uh, recreational opportunities and providing these benefits in ways that don't, um, that don't risk uh, flood protection efforts or water supply efforts, for example. Uh, Caddo Lake is one of um, uh, eight projects in the Sustainable Rivers Project that is being used to uh, learn and um, transfer lessons from these projects to the nearly 700 core dams that exist around the nation. Uh, in turn, the Corps is the largest water management agency in the country, and their practices and their best practices can further uh, inform and help guide the changes in operations of as many as 5,000 dams around the United States.